Welcome to LEGO Mech Legs 101. So this is going to be a, a bit of an update video. A lot of my earlier videos had a lot of exposition around uh, biomechanical design styles and all kinds of, uh, you know, uh, just babbling on about different ways you can make legs. But really what I wanted to do is just cut to the chase with this updated video and show you truly how to make a strong double jointed mech leg. Uh, this is using my large mech leg as the base. You can look at my other videos to see how to build this, but uh, effectively what you have is you have the, um, you have the double jointed uh, foot there that gives you direct rotation in both directions there, nice and strong. And you have the uh, ball joint at the top because I've given up on using uh, Technic rotation discs at the hip attachment. It's just, it's just um, not as good as a ball joint as long as you can make your ball joint strong, which is what this video is about. So if you like it, subscribe, thumbs up, blah, blah. Uh, let's get started. So first things first, in order to make a strong hip attachment, make sure you use a friction extender. Um, it's called a, actually, I don't even know if it's a, uh, officially called a friction extender, but it is because what this is, is an extender uh, that attaches to uh, the hip joint, sorry, the, uh, the socket, socket brick or socket uh, joint. But the special part is actually on the very inside there's a tiny little bit of rubber there. And what that does is it holds the ball in place, adds a little bit more friction. It's not just to make the joint longer, although that can be useful too. So don't skimp out on these. So back to the leg. What we're gonna do here is I'm gonna show you two different ways, uh, but ultimately infinite different ways you can attach the second joint in order to strengthen this hip. So. If we were just to start out the gate here, I'm just gonna attach that there. You know, here's your theoretical mech torso. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty pretty weak. You know, it's okay, but it's not really gonna hold a ton of weight. And as I've said, a lot of my mechs are, you know, reaching one and a half pounds up top. So how do we make this stronger? We make it stronger by adding a second joint to give uh, more resistance. So uh, lately what I've been doing uh, but obviously you don't have to do this, as I've been using one of these available holes here, and I'll put a, um, a pin and axle with no friction, so it can rotate there, and I'll just put it in the available hole. And then uh, this friction tube with a very long name, um, what I've done here is we've got the friction tube, and I've got an axle with a stop up there. Uh, use whichever length you need to get the range you need. Uh, these come in different colors, dark gray, tan, uh, and uh, I think dark brown or something like that. And I've got a Technic connector up here, which is a axle perpendicular to a pin. And basically what you do is you just mount that so that um, it looks like that. So basically, uh, you know, these things are in line like that. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pop it right onto here, right onto this uh, spot I made on the uh, on the box frame holding in the the leg here, and then I've got mixel joints up here. So what do I do with a mixel joint? Where well, I take um, let's see if I've got the part here. Uh, this little thing here, it is a, a pin with ball, and I basically just grab this again. It's actually easier to do it if I take it off, so I'll take it off. Um, so basically what you do is you just pop that right in there and then now you've got a joint that's ready to be used. So what I'm gonna do is pop it onto here and then onto this mixel joint here and there you go. You have a strong double jointed hip attachment and now listen to the beautiful, the beautiful sound of that friction. And look at all that sweet movement you've got all the, you know, you know, kicking back, kicking forward you want, you've got all the abduction you want, and you've got sweet lateral rotation. It's all there, all for your dreams. Um, now the key thing here is you'll see um, this needs to be, the, the, the second joint mount needs to be in line with where it mounts on the leg. Uh, otherwise, you know, if it's too far back, then you're gonna have restricted movement, but it's totally fine 
to have ducked it out. That's what it's there for. And that's what using this combination of mixel joint, pin with ball, connector gives you. It gives you that, you can see it moves up and down and then obviously forward and back. It's a beautiful thing. So that's, uh, that's you know, something I'm using lately. Now, um, what if you want to put the second joint somewhere else? What if that doesn't work for you? Uh, that's fine. So here, let's, um, I'm going to pop this off. Let's say you're like, well, the way I'm plating this, maybe it makes sense to have it here because I have some plan up here, or maybe you're just using a completely different leg. You obviously don't need to use um, uh, the way I do it here. You can build your leg however you want. The whole point of this is you can put a second joint uh, on it wherever you want. So let's say you have a, a mixel cup down here. So then what you can do is uh, you can put a little ball with axle attachment, which is this little guy here. I believe it only comes in light gray. Come on, focus. Pop that in. And then same kind of thing. We're gonna take our friction tube and I'll just pop it in there. Now, it's obviously a little bit farther over, so like I was saying, you will need to tweak this as needed so that it uh, doesn't uh, extend too far uh, beyond the axis of movement. So let's put it maybe, let's put it here. Um, and uh, let's see if that one worked. Yeah, so there you go. You know, you've got all of your movement. And obviously you'll have to, you know, build it with whatever clearance you have in mind. Maybe I'll just move it one over. No, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So let's say, uh, let's say you're not building your torso studs up. Let's say you're building it studs forward. Uh, you can really use any kind of uh, attachment mechanism you want here. So um, in this case, maybe I'll use um, a ball with holes and attach it to my uh, axle with stop there. And let's pop it on here. It could have gone on either spot, but we'll keep this one. And then let's grab a, uh, let's grab a brick with a cup and pop it on the back there. And then maybe this is how I want to attach this because I want to do a studs forward torso. Uh, this is kind of like my Archon, I use this. And again, well, I've got a little bit of a range issue here, but you know, that's easily tweaked. You know, maybe what I would do is, in this case, maybe I would actually move the attachment up, right? Do something that makes more sense. And then push this back. Easy peasy. So that's about it. Um, this is really the core uh, techniques for having very strong hip joints. And I actually like how these look. It gives it a nice hydraulic appearance. I, you know, something I did here that you may have noticed is on this side, I have the uh, ball on the hip. Um, and on the side, I have the cup on the hip. So it's been too long since I've taken a physics class, but I, I'm curious if having a ball rotating on a cup is more friction full than a cup rotating on a ball. Maybe you guys have an opinion on that, let me know. And there is your double jointed hip. Subscribe, like, blah, blah. See you later.